This is Dr. Jack Allergy. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, Dr. Jack Allergy. One of the questions that I've been receiving a lot of is hives and COVID, coronavirus. And so I wanted to make a video discussing my opinions on um, COVID and hives. Now, we have to break COVID up into two different parts, one being the infection and one being the vaccination. COVID is basically coronavirus, and that stands for a corona is kind of a crown, and it's just the way that the protein is made and these protein particles sticking off the virus. Um, but it's a virus and it causes infection. And one of the most common causes for acute urticaria or acute hives is infection. Can be an upper respiratory infection, uh, which can be caused by the most common being rhinovirus, but also adenovirus, Coxsackie virus, um, echovirus, uh, parainfluenza, respiratory syncytial virus, and of course, coronavirus. Now, the most common uh, symptoms that you will experience from a COVID infection are fevers and chills, cough, shortness of breath, fatigue, body and muscle aches, headaches. A very common one is the loss of taste or smell, sore throats, nasal congestion, runny nose. But think about it. A lot of these symptoms, other than the severity of the shortness of breath, or the difficulty breathing is that's common and classic for most viral infections. Um, and so a question I commonly ask my patients who come to me with acute hives is, have you in the last four to six weeks had an infection? Did you have an upper respiratory infection? Did you have uh, an ear infection, a urinary tract infection? So yes, you can develop hives from COVID infection, although it hasn't been documented as much. The other part is to think about the vaccination, the vaccine. So this is a, a much more difficult topic to discuss, and I'm not going to provide my personal opinions on whether you should be vaccinated or not, or is the government interfering in our lives by forcing people to take a vaccine that they really might not want, but I will leave those opinions to the pundits who think they're much smarter than all of us. But the vaccine itself, there was, um, and there are multiple types of the vaccine, and there are different components and preservatives in the vaccine. So if you have reacted to other vaccines in the past, there is likely an increased risk of developing hives. Now, if you've had hives or developed hives from a vaccine or a high fever in the past, or uh, even from exercising, increase in body temperature, stuff like that, there is an increased risk that you can develop hives from the COVID vaccine, any of them. There was a small study done in patients who had some sort of reaction although they didn't document exactly what it was. I think it was a small study of 168 patients who had a reaction to the first dose of the COVID vaccine. And what they did is they took these patients and they gave them the second dose of the COVID vaccine, but they monitored them in a physician's office. Only two of the uh, patients in this study still had a reaction after the second dose, and these were mild. They were skin reactions that were easily treated with oral antihistamines. So if you are currently experiencing an urticaria or a hive outbreak, or you have a history of hives or a history of reaction to vaccines with the development of hives, you are at a greater risk of developing hives from the vaccine, but you can treat this. And so I would still recommend treating it the same way. The Zyrtec-Zantac combination 
or any similar medications. The other option is to consider even pretreatment, where if you have a history of reaction to a vaccination, you might want to pretreat the day of the vaccine with a Zyrtec and a Zantac in the morning, and then maybe again in the evening, possibly continuing it for the day after, just to reduce the risk or a chance of developing hives from the vaccination. Again, it has not happened a lot, but a lot of people have significant concerns, which are very valid. And I wanted to just address that, first off, COVID infection can cause hives, still treat it the same way. And the vaccine itself can cause hives, still treat it the same way. If you're going to be vaccinated, we might want to consider pre-treatment, and that would be something to discuss with your primary care doctor or pediatrician. If you like the content in this video, I would ask for a thumbs up. And if you like what I have to talk about, and I promise it will not only be about hives, because allergy is much larger than that, but um, please think about subscribing to my channel. This is Dr. Jack Allergy.